stay tuned if you want to know what makeup I used for this look. Hey everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things fragrance and beauty. Today we are lucky enough to be talking about a new product, uh, one that I don't see talked about very much on YouTube, but I want to make sure that I draw your attention to it, and that is a product known as Gen C. So Gen C was created with the premise of not to choose between makeup and things that are good for us. They are a clean product line. And the thing that I really appreciate about Gen C is because the C is for the need for all of us to see things differently. Gen C sees the earth and our effect on it. They see the way we treat others and the effect on them. So when you support this brand, you're supporting the idea that everyone matters, everyone is seen, we're all Gen C. And in terms of taking care of our earth and each other, the ingredients are all vegan, they're cruelty free, and they're formulated according to EU standards. And those are the leading clean uh, retailers in the USA. The packaging is also one of the most sustainable in the industry. A little statement, so like their mission statement, always clean high performance color, vegan and cruelty free, sustainable recyclable packaging, ethical inclusive business practices. Never any fragrance, nanoparticles, or I can never say this word, but phthalates, phthalates, that word. Anyway, so I have a selection of their products and I thought we could do a get ready of, with me of almost entirely uh, Gen C products. That being said, I did prep my skin, not all clean products, but uh, Glow Wish by Huda Beauty Primer, Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua, uh, then with my Dior Powder No Powder in 2N, and Armani Maestro Power Fabric Concealer in 4. So let's get started playing with some Gen C products. To be honest, uh, these products were sent to me, uh, complimentary in exchange for my review. We have six products here, so let's get started with uh, Gen C Mixed Media Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow. So again, the sustainable packaging, open it up, and we have this beautiful metallic. Desert Highway 03. I actually have seen this. Um, this was used in an article which uh, if I can find, I will post here. But it was beautiful on her, a little more dramatic than the look I wanted to do today, but we'll see if we can tame it down. I've never used it before. This is my first time opening all of these. So um, I guess we'll try them all together. So they say they contain no fragrance. It does have a really nice scent to it though. It's a, like a cake batter, so it must just naturally smell like that. Um, so here we go. This is applying beautifully. Look at that color. It is so gorgeous. A lot of times with liquid shadow like this, it'll apply like a um, kind of streaky, but this is just going on like one swipe. Even as I go over it again with the brush, it's not lifting it. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm going to take my blending brush and just blend out that outside line. It's not catching in the creases or anything like this is gorgeous so obviously we'll see how it wears throughout this video let's do the other eye wow guys I'm really impressed with this I was kind of afraid of it to be honest all that bold color but this is beautiful Again, we'll blend out that line. Do 
you guys think. Well, like I said, we'll see how it wears. So far, so good. Guess we'll continue with the eyes. Let's do my brows. They sent Arch Support Brow Powder Gel and Taupe. Not quite sure what a brow powder gel is, but got the packaging. Oh, just a little spoolie. I will say the cream does feel a bit heavy, but um, we'll see how it wears. Okay, so it not only coats the lashes, but it does kind of leave color on the actual skin. So if you tend to do both a uh, um, lash mascara and a pencil, this might alleviate one of those steps. It is a bit thick. It does really coat the lashes. I have naturally dark eyebrows anyway, so I don't know. It's a little more stark than I'm used to. In fact, I might get a spoolie and comb this out a bit. Hold on. Okay, got my spoolie. Let's just brush this out a bit. Oh, well, we might as well finish the eyes, huh? So let's do Spectator Sport Mascara in Black 01. I'm gonna use my mirror for this one. So here's the packaging. Okay, so pretty good spoolie. So that's nice. Whoa, I just <laughs> looked in the mirror. Wow. So it's coating the lashes without um, caking. Like I'm not getting a bunch of, uh, I mean, you guys can see, there's not a bunch of clumps or anything. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm impressed. I mean, can you see the difference? Obviously you can. Wow. All right, next eye. To be fair, I'm gonna reload my mascara brush, my mascara wand. I'm impressed, guys. I gotta say, I don't normally get impressed with mascara too often. That's nice, though. Right. So next, we have the Gen C Clean Sheen Cheek and Lip Color, and this one is in Plum. This is a bold color. I did open this one already because it had the seal on it. I didn't want you guys to have to deal with me opening up the seal on uh, while we're taping here, but can you see? I mean, that is a bold plum. I am going to apply a bit to my hand here. I'm a little, gotta say I'm a bit apprehensive on applying this one. Look at that bold color. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful color. It's like a jelly, uh, a jellyish, Texture. Wow. That is pigment for just that small amount. So I guess a little goes a long way here. But I like the color. I mean, that's pretty. Buff it out a bit. I'm going to be filming some other videos today, so kind of had a certain look I was going for goddess.
you guys if you watch my channel you know i i tend to go for um i like pinks i like corals but uh, i go for more natural looks not like the or at least i feel like they're natural looks not a super bold amount of color but apparently i mean you can add you know you can layer accordingly so obviously you can make this more bold or like i'm doing kind of um buildable color is what i was going for obviously buildable color but i enjoy how you can make it more of a wash you know it's not just opaque color that you apply and then it's yeah that's pretty So let's lip too. So put this down, I guess. It has a hydrating feel too. Um, I'm wondering, I feel like it has a bit of a sheen. Do you guys see that? Like a natural um, kind of glow to the skin. That's pretty. Gen C, I'm impressed so far. Way to go. I gotta say, guys, I kind of like this look. But I have other products, so we will continue. The next product we're going to put on is Pick Me Up Lip Matte Lipstick, and the shade they sent me is Toby 08. Ooh, that's a bright case. Pretty. And that's the shade. Again, a very... Looks like a deep pink. Let's put this on. Very creamy and feel. And honestly, it looks a lot like the color I had on before. The before it was just like a wash of color from the lip tint, from the cheek tint. And this is more the lip color. What do you guys think? All right, and then the last product they sent uh, is Clean Sheen Lip Gloss, which is a crystal clear lip gloss. Another beautiful color packaging. I like how each of their packages is a different color. I'm going to totally ruin the... Mm. You apply it to my finger. I always hate getting color in the package. So it's just a pure clear gloss. I gotta say, I like it guys. Um, I was a little worried because all the colors were so bold, but I think it's a beautiful spring look. It's very fresh. It's um, you know, not a lot of product, but yet I look together. I look, you know, it's a finished look. Put my hair down here. I like it. Gen C did a good job. You guys are looking for some clean makeup products that you know are uh, cruelty free, paraben free, uh, meet all those EU standards as well as, you know, being ethical. Like, I love that they're you know, Gen C, you see everyone, you see, you know, completely inclusive. And I mean, that's just really important not to get into politics or anything like that, because Lord knows I do not like discussing all that stuff. Everybody's entitled to their own beliefs. I'm not even going to go there. All I'm saying is I think it's really important that every individual is valued and seen. It's hard in any level to be, uh, to feel like you're not valued as the individual that you are. So 
uh, I appreciate that Gen C is looking out for that and um, just the idea that everyone is seen. I think it's a really important philosophy and just value for us all to be promoting. So there you have it, guys. I hope you all are doing great. Again, Gen C is the product, G-E-N space S-E-E. -E. I guess we'll see how they wear, but in terms of application, I'm, I'm happy. So below in the information section, I will list every uh, name of each product, as well as every shade name that I used. And um, I hope y'all are doing well. I love you. I appreciate you all. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.